So to start this video, I need to go back 10 years to an article I read in the Wall Street Journal that to be honest, at the time, scared the heck out of me. At the time, I owned a custom clothing or selling suits in about the $1,000 to $2,000 price point. And I was shocked when the Wall Street Journal said that this $600 suit from Suit Supply blew away an Armani suit at the $3,600 price point. Now, a lot of guys in my industry at the time said, oh, it's just a one-off. The Armani suit was overpriced. It's a designer suit. But here's the thing. When they opened up that Suit Supply suit and they talked about the material, they talked about the fabric, they talked about the build. I spotted right then. In fact, I went into one of their stores and I was shocked at the quality that people were getting for the price. Now, a lot of you guys know my story that I ended up shutting down my custom clothing. But what a lot of you guys don't know is that where did I start buying all my suits? Where did I start buying all my shirts? Guess what? It was suit supply. 23 sports jackets, suits, and blazer jackets I've bought with my own money at Suit Supply. 42 shirts, and that's not counting polo shirts. I think I've got five of those. When it comes to knitwear, I've got eight that I could find here in the office. Point being, I've spent a lot of money with Suit Supply because I love their products. So, gents, if you haven't guessed it, the subject of today's video, your ultimate guide to shopping at Suit Supply. First up, a little bit of history. Suit Supply was founded in the year 2000 over in Amsterdam. And the thing that set them apart, yes, they've got the whole European style thing going on, but it really, it was their vertical integration. Now, vertical integration is a fancy economic word for basically that they own the supply chain. They owned their manufacturing. They were able to control everything that was going on in the build process of their suits. Now, a lot of companies choose not to do this. The upfront costs are higher, there's higher risk, but there's higher reward in the sense of you could make more money. But what Suit Supply did was different. They actually said, you know what? We're going to leave a little bit of profit out there. We're going to increase the quality and we're going to be able to offer great suits at an affordable price point. I know, looking back, this seems like a no-brainer, but at the time, nobody was doing this. We had the lower end suit companies, Men's Warehouse, Jose Banks, making suits for two to three hundred bucks. And then we had the higher end manufacturers, well over a thousand bucks that they were selling their suits at. There was nobody right there in the middle. What happened next? Well, it was probably a marketer's dream. All of a sudden, word of mouth got out. Everyone started Started talking about him in the forums over on Style Forum, Ask Andy. Tim Gunn actually put them on his list. You got the Wall Street Journal writing that seminal article that really put them on the map. And all of a sudden, people started going in and seeing that, hey, at this affordable price, there really is no competition. Now, gents, I'm always transparent with you guys. Today's video is sponsored by Suit Supply. That being said, I am still in the red with these guys. Seriously, I spent like over $15,000 with these guys before I ever got them as a sponsor. So now I'm just finally happy. I'm starting to make some of that money back. But seriously, gents, why do I like Suit Supply so much? Why do I think they're a store that you should check out? Well, I've got five reasons. So the first reason I love Suit Supply is they are the best value out there. Seriously, that's why I spend my money there. Whenever people ask me for a recommendation, hey, I need a suit quick, where can I go? I point them to Suit Supply. It's a great deal. They are not the cheapest and that's a great thing because when you wear a suit, you want to look good. You want to look like a million bucks. You don't want to look like you're wearing a cheap suit. That being said, their suits are incredibly affordable. When you compare them to suits that sometimes cost 10 times as much, you're going to find that off the rack, if you've got the right body type for it, you're going to fit right into their suit, which by the way, I'm five foot nine, 175 pounds, and I can wear their suits right off the rack. Reason number two, and this one's a big one, they have everything in one place. When I recommend somebody goes in there, guess what? They've got shoes, they've got socks, they've got your knitwear, they've got bags, they've got a wide variety besides the suits, besides the shirts, but they've also got black tie. So if you need a tuxedo, guess what? You can go right in there and get everything in one place. And gents, I can't stress how important this is for a lot of guys, especially if you're not a style guru, especially if you can't just see how things will work together. Well, guess what? When you're in the store and you're able to grab the necktie, the pocket square, the multiple suits, the shirts, and all of a sudden you're able to see these combinations and you see what it looks like before you walk out the store and you've got knowledgeable associates giving you their opinion, guys, this is what you want. And that takes me to reason number three. These guys get style. Everybody that works there is like a style enthusiast. These guys like to wear suits. They're into suits. They're into looking good. So, guess what? They do research on their own. They actually do have great training in the store, but these guys are actually, they care about style. So, they're going to be able to give you better advice. And let's not forget to talk about the stores. My next point, those stores are inspirational. When you walk in there, you feel like you're transported basically to men's wear heaven. Seriously, if you take nothing else from this video, go find a suit supply. There's 150 of them around the world. When you go into one of these stores, you are just going to be amazed at the layout, the way that they've put things together, the color combinations that you perhaps have never thought of. When you walk into a store like this, you are just inspired and you want to look good. You see a way that you can wear a suit thinking that, hey, I wasn't even 
a suit guy, but I could pull off this look. All of a sudden, you're getting this combination, this idea, this inspiration from walking into the store. And for this last point, let's address the elephant in the room, their marketing. Their marketing is unapologetic. They're young, they're sexy, and they don't mind being controversial. Seriously, go out there and do your research. Look at uh, Suit Supply controversial marketing. There's all types of write-ups and these guys embrace it because, hey, they know who they are. They know what they stand for. They know who their customer is and what he's going to come here for. But if you're young, if you want to stand, wear a suit and stand out, this is the company for you. That being said, age doesn't matter. Seriously, if you're 58, you take care of yourself, you are out there dating again, you want to look great, go check out Suit Supply. It may be the story you've been looking for. Now, guys, if you're enjoying today's video, do me a favor, feed the algorithm and smash that like button. Seriously, whenever you interact with these videos, they reach more people. And if you've been to a suit supply store outside the United States, you've got a favorite suit supply store in the United States, let me know which one it is down below. I've can do a bit of traveling over the next couple of years and I would love to check out some of the suit supply stores abroad. So, if you've got a favorite one, I want to hear from you down below. Now, let's transition and talk about the shopping process. So, you can buy from suit supply both in their stores and online. I've done both. I've enjoyed both. But I have to say that I have a preference to going in their stores again, just the visual experience. That being said, you may not be able to get to one of their stores. I found that simply going in and knowing my measurements, being able to choose a size that fits me. I've bought actually multiples and I've shipped it back, no problem. So, they do have a great return policy. But I would advise if you can try to get into a store. Now, recently, I went into one of their stores and I went through their custom made program. Not a lot of people know about this, but they've got this amazing program where you can go in and design your own suit. And within the period of about two to three weeks, you can have it delivered right to your door. Now, my favorite part about this, besides the price, which is friggin' amazing. Again, guys, I used to sell custom suits. I cannot compete and I'm happy I'm no longer in business because these guys have made it so that it's pretty much impossible to be able to get this quality and this customization anywhere else. But seriously, what I love about this is, yeah, the customization is cool, uh, the quality is awesome, but the way that they work with you and they ensure that you actually are building a really great suit that you're going to wear and that you're going to be able to get miles out of. This is incredibly important. And a lot of people don't, they really underestimate the importance of keeping it simple, of not doing so many things. I have, the first time I ever built a custom suit, I built a Frankenstein. I tried to do everything unique and I tried to set myself apart, ended up creating a suit that I didn't even wear. These guys, what I love about this is that yes, they allow you to go in there and change it, but they're going to give you suggestions. In fact, you do this hybrid where you can actually go into the store and walk through them and they will give you their expert opinion on what you should do, which fabrics you should be looking at, which combinations, which things you should be going for because you don't want to try to do everything. You also want to understand, hey, what are my personal needs? How am I going to be wearing this suit? What's my budget? All of that, they work into the equation. Even though I know my stuff, I thought I knew what I wanted when I was able to actually touch the fabrics. I was able to look at all the different options. I went ahead and changed things up just a bit. 90% I kept, but I did change the fabric. I did actually go with a few options here or there and all of a sudden, I was looking, okay, do I, I want to go with these lapels? I decided to go with a single button. I'm going to go with the double vent in the back instead of going with a no vent. It was small changes like that. Oh, you know, I'm going to go with the double trousers because anytime you're ordering a custom suit, highly recommend you go with double trousers. Why? It's going to ensure the suit lasts longer. Most likely, your trousers will be damaged before the jacket ever will and it's something that you keep them together as a set and honestly, you're going to get, I think, a few more years out of use of the suit if you go with that double trouser option. I also opted in my designs to go with a vest. Not everyone needs to go with a three piece. I really just like the option of going with the vest, having it as something that maybe I could wear with other items. But yeah, having that vest, going with those extra trousers, and you know, I had a little bit of fun with the lining, so why not? And guys, this isn't just limited to suits. So, if you wanted to get trousers, if you wanted to get shirts custom made, if you wanted to get a jacket custom made, you're a little bit harder to fit. You want something that is going to have a fit unlike anything out there. Your body, you know, you just usually, and that's one of the best reasons to go custom is you have a hard to fit body type. But sometimes people just like to be able to change things up stylistically. And believe me, with the price difference, it's actually worth it. If you really have always wanted a particular fabric, maybe with a jacket, you want a particular color, it's always hard to find, can never find it in your size. and you you have to get it adjusted anyway. This is probably going to save you time and when you buy something that is timeless, that is classic, another thing I absolutely love about Suit Supply is that their clothing for the most part, even though they use sometimes these flamboyant patterns and colors, for the most part, everything is timeless. These are items that are not going to go out of style. So, when you get something like that custom made, it's okay spending a bit more money to get what you want and to have something in your wardrobe that's going to last forever.
The only warning I'll give you is be careful with the options when it comes to the fabrics. Have an idea of what you want. Otherwise, you're going to need to set aside a solid hour or two just to go through all the fabric options. And I know if this is your first custom piece, you really want to go with that bold fabric. I would recommend that for a second, third, maybe even fifth suit. But I always say when you're starting off, go simple and make sure that we get the fit right. And speaking of fit, this is key and this is why I love the Suit Supply Custom Fit Program. So when I had an online custom clothing, it was something that we would have to have them go into a tailor to actually do the fitting. And there was, you know, it, there was certain information that's lost. If you don't know this about Suit Supply, they actually have an on-site tailor right there who makes the adjustments. Everything is, again, right there in-house. And their associates are trained to actually, when you put on that suit, after it comes back the first time, you will put this on and they're going to look over it. They're going to make sure that this fits you perfectly. Oh, we need to get those sleeves shortened just a bit. Oh, we need to actually get those trousers brought in just a tad or let out. They are then going to take it and they're going to make that second adjustment. Now, gents, if you're at all interested in Suit Supply, their custom program, or any of their clothing, you just want to check out their website. Make sure to use the link in in the description of today's video. Seriously, that link down there is going to make sure you get the best deal on the web. And if you're just curious about what are my picks for this season, what am I absolutely loving right now over at Suit Supply? Well, I'm going to link to all of it down in the description of today's video. So use those links, guys. Go check out Suit Supply. Now, as a guy that used to design suits, as a guy that used to open up suits and have to make adjustments, I understand the importance of construction. And the thing with it, with a suit is that you don't see the inside of it. You may wonder, okay, like, well, how does it maintain its shape? Well, they use a horsehair canvas on higher end suits. And guess what? They use this over at Suit Supply. Why horsehair? Because it bounces back, it maintains its shape. These guys paid attention to the details. When it comes to the, the build of their shoulders, a lot of companies, to save money, they put a foam in there. These guys don't use anything like that. They actually use a structured system, layers when they go in there. You can actually go with something that has, you know, a, a roped shoulder. You can go with something that actually has a very structured shoulder. You can go with something that has no structure on the shoulders. And again, what I love about their associates is that they can say, oh, you spend a lot of time in the gym. You've already got built up shoulders we should go with really no padding in there because you don't need it unless you're a really skinny guy or maybe you've got more of a slant on one side. That's where customers are really cool because they can build up one side and they can actually go in there and they can make sure, hey, let's go with a little bit more build, a little more structure on these shoulders so that we can offset that look and we can make you look more balanced. And let's talk about canvas. Full canvas, half canvas, it really depends on what you're looking for. I don't think one's better than the other. One is definitely more expensive. You go for a full canvas. And again, this is the overall inner construction and the materials they use. But again, at Suit Supply, you've actually got both options there. So you can choose, hey, which one do I want? If you're going to go with an unstructured jacket, one that's going to be unlined like I chose, then I would just go for a half canvas because that's going to make sense. That being said, if you're going with a wedding suit and it's going to be inside and you want something with a bit more structure, that's when you would want to go with a full canvas. A suit, especially that you'll be able to get more miles out of and you'll wear more often, I think is especially a work suit. That is a great one to go a full canvas as well because it's just going to stand up well to the test of time. So moving on from the custom clothing, let's talk about their off the rack features. And again, if you've got the right body type, which for me, I'm five foot nine, 175 pounds, I go in and I can wear their clothing right off the rack. I know Aaron Marino walks in there and is able just to grab things. Ryan Masters, uh, he loves, I know, their vests. But when it comes to suits, when it comes to sports jackets, when it comes to blazers, what I love about Suit Supply is they make it a no-brainer. A lot of companies, you walk in and you look at this suit and you think it looks decent, but like, okay, is this really a little bit too fashion forward? Is this too much? What I love about Suit Supply is they stick with the fashion basics. At the same time, they always got a few pieces here or there that really push the envelope. You go in there and you see items which when you put them on, they actually are going to look good. It's a no-brainer to be able to find a piece of clothing that is just going to work for your wardrobe. Now, I do think the best deals, in my opinion, are the suits because you get the trousers, you get those jackets, and they're reasonably priced. Again, not the cheapest, but definitely you're getting more than what you're paying for, in my opinion, because I've got suits that I've had now for probably six years from Suit Supply, and I've worn probably a hundred times, and they're still holding up great. Now, I do love also with their suits how they've got they've got the basics but they also change it up a bit. So you notice they've got a lot of patterns. They've got a lot of nail heads. You're going to see small repeating patterns. Those are great, especially if you've already got the basis suits, which I always recommend going with a navy blue, going with a gray or dark gray. And then from there, maybe, especially if you wear suits a lot, go with variations of grays. Nothing wrong with that. Going with variations of blues. But then you can start to bring in small repeating patterns. Now, where Suit Supply does push the envelope is a few things here or there on their style features. Notice the lapels. We have a lot of peak lapels over 
it suit supply. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I understand peak lapels are going to make it a little bit dressier. When you're looking at peak lapels, be a little bit careful. This is something I think is a little bit more fashion forward. Not everyone picks up on, but if you like the look, I know I go for peak lapels quite a bit. Now, when it comes to one, two, three buttons, you rarely get, I actually had a one button suit when it was my custom suit, which uh, for me, I just never button. Of course, you never button that bottom one. So I'm like, well, we'll just go with a one button. But two button suits are going to be the most common suit styles we're going to see at Suit Supply. Now, when I stopped making my own suits and I walked into Suit Supply for the first time, it was the suits. It was the sports jackets that I immediately bought. It wasn't, I didn't look at any of the other items. In fact, I don't remember them carrying all these other items, but I was drawn immediately to the fabric. So this is one thing that not a lot of people talk about, but they use really high quality fabrics. I think there's a story about how initially they were going around when they first started off buying excess fabrics and that's how they were able to get them cheap. But I know now they're doing such volume that they're able to go into companies like VBC. This is established Italian mill, been around for like 500 years and they are getting some great materials. So you look at the companies, you look at those fabrics and they put that on the inside of the jackets when they're using a specialty fabric. If it doesn't say what company, what mill it comes from, don't worry. Oftentimes, those are just like names that, you know, just aren't as prominent. They try to put that in to, to establish a higher brand. Most of the time, you want to go with 100% wool, but don't be afraid. You know, a linen, wool combination or a linen cotton combination and or just straight straight up linen if you want something that's going to be more breathable. My point in a nutshell, they've got some damn good fabrics. And gents, it's worth repeating, they have an in-house tailoring service. So when you buy a suit, when you buy a jacket from them, you want to get it adjusted to fit you even a bit better right there unless you've got a perfect fit. I know for me, I could probably get the sleeves shortened just half an inch, but you know, when I put it on, I just want to take it with me. So a lot of times I don't even bother. I just walk right out the store. Now, what about shirts? So, they got a wide variety of shirts. Of course, dress shirts, casual button downs, polos. You're going to see Henleys in there. What I love about Suit Supply, again, is going to be the quality. They really work with a lot of higher end mills to be able to get great fabrics and they've got different lines, different price points. So, you're going to find, again, their least expensive shirts aren't going to be the cheapest. You know, they're not $20 shirts, but what you do get here are shirts that will last. I mean, again, I wear and I spend my own money at Suit Supply because I, this shirt right here, I have washed probably like, I don't know, 30 or 40 times. Every single day, it seems like, especially during the fall, winter, and spring, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, oftentimes these dark blues, and I just run them through the laundry and they do a great job standing up. And it's the style details too. They were one of the first companies I walked into. I'm like, wow, I love how they're using and they, you could even argue they overused the um, spread collar. So, that's basically when the points go out because I had really stopped wearing a lot of ties. So, for me to have that collar point right out of the way and sitting back like that was beautiful. That being said, if you do wear ties, they've got point collars, a wide variety of point collars and they've got a wide variety of different materials and different fabrics, especially if you want something that just no one's wearing, go look at their custom options. But I did say that they've got different lines. So, they've got this traveler line which I really like because it's wrinkle resistant. So, if you're traveling, I mean, it will still get some wrinkles if you really, you know, match it up. Point being is they come out quick. When you iron, they stay as is and they, they look good. They're their whites, blues, and they've got a few other patterns in there. But these guys don't try to overdo it. They realize that shirts in many ways are just the canvas that we paid them upon whenever we're throwing a jacket over that, whenever we're wearing trousers with that. And it is something that maybe this is a weak area. I think they could have some more types of shirts and patterns, but still they've got, usually when you walk into a store, you're going to see you've got like 30 to 40 at least different options when it comes to shirts. So, you know, I guess I'm, you know, being nitpicky here. And what I, again, I love about the shirts is that I never see anything in there that I wouldn't wear. They really keep you, it, you have plenty of options, but you don't have anything in there that just won't match anything in your wardrobe. And again, you put on, you grab one of their polos, it's going to work with their sports jackets. You grab one of the Henleys, you can actually wear that with a suit if you know how to pair it together. So, these are the things I love about their shirts. Um, it's just simply, again, the great quality and how they give you options, but they never give you anything that's going to look crappy in your wardrobe. Everything there is on point. Now, depending on the season, you'll walk in, they've either got trousers, they've got shorts. What I like about this is if you, you're you like not into jeans, you want something that is going to stand out. You want to keep your shirt simple, but you want to have fun with your trousers. This is the store for you because they've got some stripes in there. They've got some patterns. They've got unique pants that are going to just look good. They're going to help you stand out from the crowd. And since we're going into the winter, let's talk about knitwear. So, their knitwear, they've got pretty much the basics of what you're looking for. You're going to find their knitwear isn't going to be heavy or bulky. They're going to have mostly lightweight pieces and they're going to keep it in colors. They're going to be pretty neutral. They're going to match pretty much anything in your wardrobe, 
So you're going to see a lot of navies. You're going to see some browns. You're going to see some dark greens. Uh, you're going to see some lighter colors as well. Not anything over the top. So if it comes to in like an Aaron sweater or, you know, any, anything that would have really outlandish patterns, you're just not going to see it there. That being said, owning a number of pieces, they are very good quality for what you pay. You can go over to some other brands and you can spend twice to three times as much. And in my opinion, you're not getting anything better. Next up, let's talk about coats. And to me, this is one of the hidden areas about suit supply. Not a lot of people know that they carry really nice winter jackets. So you've been looking for that pea coat. You've been looking for that overcoat that's going to look great over your suit. You want just a jacket that, you know, you're not even going to wear a sports jacket underneath. And you're going to throw that jacket over and just look amazing because that fabric is just going to be sleek. It's going to be unique. And the fit is going to be on point. This is the store that you want to look at. Now, this is going to come out more in their fall winter series, but it is something when you you go in there and you find them. The only bad thing I, I think about their jackets, I sometimes find it hard to find my size, but again, you can just go online and you can find your size. And again, once you go into a store and you try something on, you can actually go online to your profile and you can actually see what sizes you, you fit into. And I've done this whenever I say, hey, they didn't have it there. And by the way, they're really good in the stores too that, hey, we have this online or it's at another store. We're going to go ahead and have it just shipped to your address. They do this for me all the time and I love it because their shipping is really fast. Usually I get it with within just a few days, right to my door. I don't even have to carry it in my luggage. So I've done that multiple times and uh, they usually send the hanger with it too. So uh, yeah, look at their coats. Really nice. If you need a winter coat, that's just going to get you compliments, set you apart from the crowd. So one of the coolest places in suit supply is their actually tie area because here, here I am up next to this tie area trying to look good here. Point being, look at all those cool, colorful ties. So you can go in there with your suit, with your shirt, and you can actually look at right there all the different options you have. Grab one of their ties. You've also got, you know, pocket squares that you can slip right in there. All the accessories that you need to look amazing. And guys, let's not forget their footwear options. Again, you've got to have something great looking on your feet. Now, I have to admit, this is one area where I really haven't picked up too many options from them because I got so many companies that I already have shoes from. That being said, when I look at these, when I inspect the quality, I can tell that these are made over in Europe, most likely made in Italy. Maybe some of these are made in Spain. They'll probably maybe go back and correct this part of the video. Point B is I immediately spot quality from the upper, from the leather they're using, from the style details. You are not going to go wrong by grabbing these at suit supply. And again, you can see the combination, how it's going to work. Cause let's say that you've been actually wanting to wear dress sneakers with a suit, but you are like, okay, what is this combination going to look like? You can try them on right there in the store and you can see that look, you can walk around, you can get a feel of what this combination is going to look like before you ever take it out and boom, get it right there. Now, gents, if you've watched the video to this point, you are in the suits. So you need to go check out suit supply. Again, use that link down in the description. Go check them out. Awesome company. Proud to support them. And you're probably wondering, okay, Antonio, what video should I watch next? So, can you wear Chelsea boots with a suit? Yes and no. What do I mean? Find out here, guys, in this video right here, I go into the details and I teach you exactly how to pull this look off and what to avoid so, yeah, you don't look bad. How to wear Chelsea boots with a suit. This video right here.